world where stupidity's never been made to look better. Where we are freely bound and ignorantly blind to the fetters. Where the kings and priests have turned over their keys to the prisons just to be turned around, thrown and locked in them. Where the true scholars and teachers have conscientiously become the stupid because they sit with their pens and pads eagerly waiting to be taught by their students. Right. I'm talking a chosen nation, a chosen generation that's inherited the lives of other nations simply to become completely complacent with wives' tales and hand me down information. Why? Because the books have been sealed to the eyes of the descendants of them that wrote them. It's not a, a strange thing that so many things are left misunderstood, but not one word was left unspoken. The people are choking, they're groping for an identity that's been long ago took and hidden in the most secret place, the pages of a book. I'm talking to people robbed and spoiled, direct derivative of their deliberate decision to slap back. Now rather than seeking for sound doctrine to bring them back, they seek to get their ears scratched. These kings, these queens, these priests, they seek for peace in all the wrong places. Their daughters are searching for love in all the wrong places. They seek for God in all the right places, only now the right places have become the wrong places because of the pain of faces. Only the right places have become the wrong places because of the painted faces. So they are once again in history made merchandise of by their masters. Only these days masters are looking more like pastors. Yes, pastors, the masters of the stars, the pleasers of the eyes. Not all of them, just those that are getting materialistically fat while their sheep are spiritually skinny. Now I can lie and tell y'all that this Christian world is all right, but that just ain't in me and this is why I speak. About these painted faces and the faces of the masses. Too many questions, but nobody seems to be asking the right ones. So garbage becomes the delicacy served on the silver platter. It's between life and death and the chosen have been conditioned to choose the latter. The things that matter have been turned upside down. A good question would be where are those kings and priests now? Well, you don't have to search hard to find them. You can catch them climbing the American ladder trying to find their piece of the pie. Working three times as hard as the next man with ten times the ability, asking themselves the questions why. You can find them in the pool pits, given a platform to further slay the slaughtered. You can check in the corners of the dope houses, they're there, having helplessly forsaken their sons and their daughters. You can catch them in beautified organizations. Charity. Which were really intended to steal away their spiritual sobriety. Yes, they're hooked up with hands and sisters and brothers from another mother in fraternities and secret societies. These kings, these queens, these priests, if only they knew who they were. If only they understood their true identity. If only they stood, they understood that their time will not be long. Because the high priest sits on his throne. Yeah. And when he returns, he's coming to gather his own. My only desire is that Israel will see that this is real. And that your time won't be long. It's easy to get caught up in the hype when your identity is not your own. So you seek to belong. And you'll belong anywhere. That makes you feel like you have something that's worth something. But the reality is that seek that peace that you seek for only lies in the one who gathers when he returns. But you don't have to wait until then because now is when your lesson can be learned. Right. Yeah. Now is when your eyes can be opened to the fact that, that, that you may have been chosen to do a job that no one else was designated to do. To preach the gospel of the only true one and living Christ who's already left the instructions of what to do. These kings, these queens, 
these priests. That's that peace. Come on. Y'all just caught. Y'all, y'all catching us right here on the second half. The second half of the show. This is my stylist Dominique. I think y'all got her in the front and the top. This is the second half of the show. We getting ready to go out. And um, God was with us on that first half. So, so I'm just uh, he was with you throughout the whole thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm just um. I'm excited, y'all. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. It's all my people out there, all my loved ones, my family. Everybody came out to support y'all. It's great out here, and it's going smoothly. So, and just say so I know we don't wake up like this. Uh, no, we don't, we, we don't wake up like this. This don't just happen, you know. It's a process. The process, you know. Let me. Uh, I think you should be good. Hold your legs out. You know, light skinned people, it's a little difficult to tell when y'all ashy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we about to go back out here and um you know just do to make it do what it do. Inspire some hearts. Transformation and new life. That's what it's all about, y'all. Elbows. Transformation and new life. Come on in. They knocking on this door, y'all, like 50 minutes. The evening. Yep, yep. Oh, okay. oh, okay. Look who it is. Show who it is. Show who it is knocking on that door 50 times. <laughs> The founder, the founder, the CEO What's going on? What's going of Grand Totem. So oh man, man, praise God. I'm just yeah. honestly, uh, it's a pleasure to just be able to do what it is yeah. I'm supposed to be yeah. doing. Yeah. Real talk. I had, I had went to church without even knowing it. Before I could, before I could, uh, before I could um, even know it, I was, I was already in. I'm like, okay. These, these men out here making it do, do what it do for my show, y'all, and I'm, I'm appreciative of it. Y'all gotta catch them. Y'all need some videography done, some photography done. Y'all wanna shoot a video, you know, like a music video. Y'all wanna just, just do something professional, grand total. Grand Total, that's where y'all go. They have a website, grandtotal.com, right? Grandtotalfilms.com. Grandtotalfilms.com, y'all gotta check them out. Yeah. Okay, we good. We about to go out here for this second half. Y'all just enjoy the show. Um, we gonna try to enjoy it too from the top. Okay, from from the stage. Love y'all.